Hi hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel of weird science is all about trying to learn various concepts of the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding market analysis part 2. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called users with three different columns, user ID, joint date and favorite brand. User ID is the primary key column with unique values for this table. This table has the information about the users of an online shopping website where users can sell and buy items okay we are also given a second table called orders with five different columns order id order date item id buyer id and seller id order id is the primary key column with unique values item id is a foreign key that is a reference column to the items table and buyer id and seller id is the foreign keys to the users table okay we are given another table called items with two different columns item id and item brand item id being the primary key for this table okay we are asked to write a solution to find each user whether the brand of the second item by date they sold is their favorite brand if a user sold less than two items report the answer for that user as a no it is guaranteed that no seller sells more than one item in a day okay return the result table in any order okay let's go through this example so here you have four different users various orders and various items so let's look at user id1 user id1 favorite brand is lenovo if we look at user id1 user id1 has not sold anything right because there is no seller id in the orders table so obviously for user id1 the answer should be no because why the question says that if a user has sold less than two items that means one or zero right so user id1 has sold zero items so the answer should be no then let's look at user id2 favorite brand is samsung if we look at user id2 so user id2 has sold two different orders the first one was 1st of august 2019 and the second one was on 4th of august so we need to look at the second item that the person sold so second item sold was item id1 item id1 is samsung and if we look at user id2 the favorite brand is samsung as well so for them the answer should be yes and similarly we can do for 3 and 4 as well and that is what we have in our output right okay so to solve this question we have the information in three different tables so we need to merge the entire information at one place and go from there so what we need is for every you the question says for every user we need that right so that is why we need to start with the left join of orders table on the users table on this table called users alias as you let us left to join the orders table alias as o on u dot user id is equal to o dot seller id right because we need which user who sold the second item has the same brand as the favorite brand so user id is equal to o dot seller id and then we also need that okay we have the item ids but we need the item brand also to compare whether it was a favorite brand or not so what we can do is we can go ahead and do left join again on the items table aliased as i on o dot item id is equal to i dot item id okay now once we join this you do not need all the columns from the users orders as well as the items table right what all do you care about you want the user you need the favorite brand because you need to compare then what you need is you need the order date we need to arrange by order date and see okay which one was the first sale which one was the second sale and so on and finally we need the okay in that particular order which item brand was sold so let us keep only the four columns that we run. You want, if you want, you can keep all the columns, does not matter. But I just don't want to, you know, have unnecessary details here because it would be very difficult to explain. So let us return the u dot user id column, then u dot favorite brand. We also need the order date. We need to order by this date as well, right? So let us return o dot order date and then let us return the item brand so i dot item brand okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so let me just drag it to the above and left so let's see what do we have 
Okay, so now what you have is you have various users, their favorite brand, various order dates, and the item brand that was sold and that particular order. So if you look at it, we saw, right? So for user ID one, they sold nothing. Then for user ID two, they had two sales, etc. So once we have this, then what we need is we need two things here. Firstly, let us rank based on the order date for every user ID because we need the second sale whether the item brand is same as favorite brand or not right so you see the second item so let us go ahead and rank we can use the dense rank function so dense rank then what you can do is since this is a window function over for every user you want it so partition by u dot user id and then you need to order by the order date so o dot order date in ascending order and let's alias this as rank so let me go ahead and run this okay so if you look at it we have the rank column here but yeah for user id 2 this was the first sale second sale and so on once we have all this information we also need another column here why because the question says that if a user sold less than two items report the answer for that user as no that means for every user you also need the count of items that they sold so again you can use the count window function so count star over partition by u dot user id and let's alias this as count items okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if we look at it we have that hey these are the rankings right based on order date in ascending order and these are the number of items that were sold by a particular user so user id2 sold two items right so you have that and so on so once you have all the information then what you need is you need to basically use the case win statements why because here if your count of items is less than two right based on the question that we have if the count is less than two then you can simply go ahead and do that return me no now if your count is two or more then you need to see whether in the rank number two item brand is equal to the favorite brand or not if yes you return yes if not return no so let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with CTE as and this entire thing goes into parentheses. Then from this common table expression, let us return the user ID. So user ID and then use the case win statements. So let me just drag it above. Okay. So case when your count of items is less than two then you simply return no because the question says that now when your count of items is greater than or equal to two and your rank is equal to two because we need for second item and also your favorite brand is equal to the item brand then you return yes right similarly what can happen is two or more items sold rank is equal to two but favorite brand is not equal to item brand so what you can do is let's copy this entire thing here paste it here and i favorite brand is not equal to item brand then you return no and in all other cases return me null since you started a case when statement you end as and what is the output that you want aliased as it should be second item favorite brand so let me go ahead and run this okay so now if you look at our output so you have for various user ids no nulls yes and so on why do we have nulls here we are looking at certain conditions so if the count items for example for user id2 the count of items is equal to two so this is satisfied but there was a rank equal to one because there is a first sale and then there is a second sale so in all other cases it is null right now another thing that you need to keep in mind is so here you need the output as seller id right so you need to alias this as seller id let me go ahead and run this again okay so now what you need is you only need no or yes values so 
let's save this entire thing in common table expression 2 so cte 2 as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this common table expression 2 keep only those rows where second item favorite brand is not null and then you return me the columns let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes very tricky question as well as very lengthy question what we basically had to do was since the entire information is spread into three different tables so we joined all of them together and kept only the columns that we are most caring about and then we dense rank to get okay what is the rank based on the order date as well as how many items were sold by each user once we had all the information then we use the case when statements to make sure whether you should return no or yes Yes. And in some cases, we saw that we are returning nulls as well. This was, you know, if any of the conditions was not being satisfied. So what we did was we only kept those rows where the second item favorite brand is not null. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better or more efficient solution to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.